Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting in Jupiter, Florida. Wanted to give you guys a quick overview of our most recent project on a Thor Quantum MB24 motor coach. On this system, we installed 1,000 watts of solar, a 3,000 watt inverter to back up the whole coach, a DC to DC charger, and over 800 amp hours of lithium batteries. Let's take a look. In this compartment, we've got our inverter, our Lynx distributor, and our Lynx shunt. We've got our Victron charge controller, our Victron servo, a PV disconnect, and some AC bypass plugs. So if the inverter ever breaks, the owner can simply bypass it, taking Shore directly to the main panel and removing the inverter from the equation. We used a Lynx shunt on this system. This helped us to fit a main system fuse and a battery monitor in one clean, neat area without having to cut and crimp any 4 aught cables. We've also got a Lynx power in here. So this is useful when batteries have to be separated. So you can see there's only two batteries here. There's four batteries total in this system. Two are on the other side of the coach. So we've run a nice long cable from each of them, equal distance and equal gauge wire to this battery combiner. And that is the best way to combine batteries when they're separated as opposed to giant four aught jumper wires between them that makes um, everybody's life a mess. There's a nice pass through um, that goes above this compartment here. So this allowed us to run our wires across the inverter over to the other side. So let's take you over there to have a look. So we were able to run wires across and up. And that takes us into the coach underneath of the sink. And this is where we see the additional two batteries and each has an individual breaker. We wanted to leave room for the owner requested a trash can to be able to be placed there. So we tried to keep the battery area as compact as we could. And we also fit the touchscreen right here. This is the Victron Touch 50. It's gonna show the owner how much solar they're producing, how much shore is coming in, and the percentage of the batteries at all times. Under the step is where most manufacturers put the lead acid battery. But when we removed those, we were able to repurpose this area. We installed an Orion 30 amp DC to DC charger. As you can see, there's a fan on top so that it's constantly ventilated when it's running because it does get quite hot. We were able to fit a thousand watts on the roof, which is working out quite well. We could have shifted the panels forward and fit one extra, but we wanted to leave room for the owner to access the awning and the slide to do maintenance and clean them in the future. So we're just giving these panels a final natural rinse before we send it off. If you need help designing or installing a power system, give us a call.